I'm Rita Crandall and this is V-Byte. In the news, Vampire Masquerade is having their 25th anniversary here in New Orleans. It's a pretty big deal. There's some really elaborate dinner parties and cocktail parties and I've never done the role-playing part of it. I did play their video game online which was quite fun. Uh, but the role-playing part, um, the last one was in Las Vegas and things that happen there with different characters is moving, it changes what happens here, this year, you know, this one. So every year they take information from the past event and that is put into the theme of the storyline, which is really cool. So anyway, we're very happy to host them here and look forward to seeing a lot of you guys here at Boutique de Vampire next week. It's the 1st through the 7th, uh, 5th, sorry, September 1st through the 5th. Okay, also in the news, we're frantically getting ready here for our Merci for the Magic Parade. It's all the magical organizations and um, shops in the French Quarter thanking the French Quarter residents and also those visitors who come for the magic for supporting us all, all throughout the year. And we throw the first treat of the season. It's our Halloween kickoff parade. And we also throw some tricks. And this year, it is going to be barbecued crickets. Last year, we had barbecued worms. So get ready for those, and we look forward to seeing you there. It's at 7 o'clock on October 1st. This year it happens to fall on a Saturday. It's always at dusk, so it's 7 o'clock. Okay, also, we have some new products. We have the surprise kitties and owls. I mean, kitties and birds, and now we have the owls. This is a little purple one. He's a real faint purple. And if you can see here, he, when you burn him, a little skeleton appears of a little owl. So those are pretty cool. And then... One of our artists, Stephanie Knight, created some more creepy dolls, and I just have two to show you here. This is, I think, my favorite. This is the little witch doctor who the detail is really phenomenal. If you look at his little mouth there, that's all sculpted. She takes these completely apart and then re-sculpts them. It's a really creepy process when she has all the, the arms and legs and heads hanging separately, spray painting them. But anyway, uh, she does an amazing job, and this is really kind of the coup de grace, though. This is Pumpkinhead Baby. Ooh, isn't that amazing? He is really, really cute. And he has a little crow's um, feather here he's sucking on in his, in his hand. So come to the shop and visit us. And uh, I won't see you tomorrow night on V-Bite, but I will see you soon on V-Bite.